Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Optimize your workflow by connecting both press with Zapier in 2023. This tutorial demonstrates the seamless integration process, allowing you to automate tasks and enhance efficiency using these powerful platforms. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So here we go guys, the first thing that you will need to do is to head up to botpress.com. Then if you do have an account, you should log in. If you do not have, you should simply sign in for account. So let's click in here and continue with our Google account. And there we go. So here we have our workspace and here you will have your bot. So basically the first thing to do is to choose a bot. So we have to create a bot in the first place to connect it with any kind of platform then this bot is not published yet as you can see I have made a whole video about how to make a bot go publish you can check it out I will give it to you in a simple way so the first thing to do is to go to edit and then after you edit the bot choose whatever template you want and then I'm going to use this template and then you should publish this bot after the page loads you the connection between BotPress is kind of uh, like intimidating to Zapier. Uh, it can be hard a little bit since it is not by going to Zapier as with any other platform. So let's click here on publish so it can be published and we can now add integrations into it. So here we just wait a little bit and we will find here eventually like the published has been done and now you can simply head up back to the main page so back to the dashboard and here it is the bot it has been published in a few seconds or a few moments ago so now go to the integrations and go here to browse and help here you will find so many apps from Trello, Azana, Zendesk, Notion, Liner, Webhook, Intercom, Twilo, WhatsApp, WebChat, Vonage and here we can find the Zapier app so click on the Zapier Click on install to Sparkling Flamingo, which is the app or the bot name, and here click on Got to Bot. So here we have the enable integration, so we should enable it and save the integration. And just like that, you have connected Zapier with your bot press. Now we should click on this article and follow it to connect the chat exactly how it should. So this is the prerequisites. So you should have an a Zapier account, you should get a better access to the BotPress app in Zapier so you can request for it. You can click here to request for it. So here we go, accept invite and build a Zap. And there we go, we have accepted the invite. So now we have the access. If I try to search for it, let me just try to go to app. And here it should be find it in here normally so you should either try to find it so we could try to search for butt press and like that somehow it should be in here we can search for chatbot as well there is so many names for it that it's called cold or you can just find it in this custom integrations and it could be here as well but in general you should request like here the for the uh, app so this is like how it goes so you were invited by this person so the bot press teams invite you to test their uh, there's Zapier integration before, it's available for everyone. Uh, need to accept the invite and build a Zap with BotPress to get started. If you know and trust the developers behind this email address, then this invitation should be safe to accept. This app has not been reviewed or approved by Zapier for functionality or security. So normally here you just have to accept the invite, as I said, and you should start creating your Zaps as you do normally. So search for example for BotPress here, and normally you could simply create a new zap using this bot press. So here as you can see you should have also a bot press cloud account and a bot press bot which we have made in this video already. So here we should set up our the Zapier integration in WordPress. So you should go to the integration hub in bot press cloud. So this is exactly and click on Zapier. This is exactly what I have shown you and find and connected. And then we have to set up a Zapier workflow. So create a new Zap in Zapier account and search for bot press either in the trigger or action of your zap so normally what they ask you to do is to simply click on create the zap and here you can 
you can either click tap that way which is the new way which is using a prompt or basically by going here into the dashboard and basically you will find this AI tool or create switch to classic view so here you can choose like the app that you want for example here you can search for bot press in case you got accepted in the invitation and you should find it in here the same goes for the other side so here you would find it that way or find it in this section which is the bot press section here you should just find it in the app section after that after you finish with that what you need to do is basically click on Zapier and they will guide you through the process of authenticating to your WordPress account while this is provided there and once you have authenticated when setting up the trigger or action for your to use WordPress you will be asked for the webhook URL which is basically this URL this is the webhook URL you will have to copy it and paste it in Zapier then once you have pasted, uh, you should just go to the next step. So using WordPress to trigger a Zapier workflow. So here, if you're setting up WordPress uh, as a trigger in Zapier, will be an option to test the trigger and see some simple data that could be received from your bot. Use this to create this, the rest of your Zap. So for example, it can execute code, insert record, delete record, send to Zapier, configure webhook, show web chat, send custom, custom web chat, get record, update record, find record, toggle web chat, hide web chat, and get user data. So these are all the things that you can get by uh, integrating WordPress with Zapier. Third, it's recommended that you can send data in JSON format so you can send multiple value at once. A Zapier will automatically parse it, for example, you could use the following expression to send a JSON object with multiple values in the trigger data. Uh, data field of the send Zapier action. For example, you should just send it as it is JSON dot stringify my variable one workflow dot my variable one my variable two workflow dot my variable two. So this is just an example. Uh, and using Zapier to trigger an action in your bot uh, in your bot chat bot, it can be like that. Fix schedule events from Zapier conversation custom trigger and there is more than that this is just a beta as i said guys it is not officially made these are like the customized uh, logic path that uh, actual uh, uh, zapier got in botpress and this is how it's gonna look after you create the whole zap integration it's gonna be something like that for example trigger received in botpress and event in botpress so this is how it's gonna be looking in general and yeah guys, this is how you can connect both BotPress to Zapier in 2023. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And thank you guys a lot for watching. Leave a comment if you don't have any questions. And see you guys in the next tutorial.